The finest silks from the master weavers of Randalar. Come, come, feel its softness. Chop Make a nice steak, gift to your wife. Sausage, huh? all from greens-fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. Curatives, restoratives. Look all you like, sir. It's all fresh. Pick this very morning. Restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. Good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? <sighs> the bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kupka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer? That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. We don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw! Sit here!
so many others. The bear is safe. And a lot has happened since the last time I was able to say anything. So I had made a number of mistakes um, in my assessment of what was going to happen in the story of what was happening. I had thought that the voice that Clive was hearing the whole time was a freak. This was the spirit of the fire icon inside of him trying to take control. It turns out it was actually ultimate. The freak doesn't seem to have that kind of will to itself, perhaps. But it's Ultima, which is trying to take control of Clive's body. And it's not simply a matter of him being a fire icon, because Ultima isn't trying to take over the bodies of the other uh, dominants. It seems to be focusing its efforts on Clive, and it's probably, it's probably a result of Clive's very specific ability. He seems to be able to draw power out of other dominance in order to take on some measure of the abilities of the other, and that's probably whatever it is that Ultimate is seeking. So Sid was killed. Sid didn't make it through that fight. He was killed in the battle, well, hurt during the battle with the Typhoon, and then attacked Ultima, but didn't just sort of didn't have much life left and died. And Clive seems to have taken on Sid's, not only his mission, but his identity. Clive himself, he was a, he was a bearer, or at least he seemed like one. He had a tattoo on his face, people were starting to recognize him as that. So he took on the identity of Sid in order to pick up his mission, and now, I guess people didn't know who Sid was, and now, you know, Enough of this! Let him play with the kitten! They brought a pet. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. I guess nobody would have recognized Sid, or few people would have recognized Sid if they had seen him, so it would be relatively easy for Clive to take on take on his identity. Clive also seems to have had the tattoo from his face removed, so he doesn't have to have somebody else speak to him, because people would think that he was a bearer or a branded. His mission, of course, seems to still be the same to destroy the crystals because Sid believes that the crystals, the mother crystals, were drawing the, like, ether or whatever out of the environment, which was causing the, like, the blight to spread across to the land. And that seems to be something that, that is still believed to be true. I guess it is, so I'll go along with the belief that it is. What that has to do with Ultima or the ancient civilization that existed before. Not certain yet, but they have to be related. There's also the idea that Joshua is still alive. So, it was clear that Joshua was still alive in quite a while now. It's been obvious that he was alive. And it should have even been obvious to Clive, but it took Clive a long time to realize it for some fucking reason. <laughs> but I had seen... Um, Joshua say a number of things like talking about somebody how like he must be stopped that kind of thing and I had come to the incorrect conclusion that he was actually speaking about Clive that Clive's um, the inner demon inside of him which was um, which was if Reit was just too much of a threat and had to be stopped but it wasn't that wasn't the case I was speaking about Ultima and Ultima's pursuit of Clive in order to absorb or take his power. I would say that it's likely that Ultima is some sort of ancient being which is looking for a body in order to like claim for his own, but it has to be a body powerful enough to contain his essence. Sort of like Thanatos from Secret of Mana, who spent the, the game searching for a body or trying to absorb a body which was strong enough to contain his essence. So when 
um, when Sid killed Ultima's physical form, it just reformed another one. But it was one that wasn't powerful enough for him, so, like, it's not suitable. But Joshua says that, like, yeah, your form is fleeting, killing you wouldn't have made a difference. But Joshua had something else in mind, and he alludes to his own nature, what he was capable of, so he seemed to have captured Ultima and trapped it within himself, which I guess would prevent it from acting, but it's, I can't imagine it's going to have a positive impact on him, <laughs> on Joshua. Ultima, just like a lot of the icons and the and everything, is a reoccurring element in the Final Fantasy series. Typically, though, it's just seen as a powerful magic spell. Like, you cast Ultima, and it's a powerful spell that does a lot of damage. Whereas this is the first time I think Ultima itself is a conscious being, and an antagonist at that, so... I'm still going to have to play through more of the game to get a better idea of what Ultima is. But I'm going to say it must have something to do with the ancient culture that we're existing in the ruins of. They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole, all because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all mugged now. Oh <laughs> For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. <laughs> <laughs> 